everyone how are you doing i hope you are well i'm sorry i didn't upload something about arduino for a quiet moment sorry i had some things to do so today i will like as you have read in the title i will make a, an alarm clock based on arduino so for this we have arduino uno and i'll have an RTC module which is the DS1302 I used this module before as you can see in my previous videos how to do it it's very simple and I have an LCD I2C screen I used it also before and for this we have a keypad I also used this before in a tutorial with the RTC and another tutorial with the with the LCD I2C screen. So this is just uh, like a mix up of all these things. And for the alarm, I will use a buzzer. I have a tutorial about it too. It's very simple. So we're gonna proceed by the wiring. I'm gonna take this mini breadboard and as you know I have already a resistor here 1k resistor with two wires I think you know why it's because the RTC module so I'm gonna start wiring this I have a lot of uh, wires actually we'll start with the RTC module so I will not plug the VCC and ground for now I have first the clock CLK which go to the pin number two and after this I have the date pin I left the wire here so just we can go fast so the date pin from the RTC goes to 1k resistor then from the 1k resistor goes to the pin number 3 of the arduino and here i have i'm sorry a reset reset in pin number 4 then the keypad on the pins like from 5 and to 12 like if I begin this from uh, my right here it's on 4 until 12 it's okay then we have our buzzer our buzzer has like three pins the signal pin which is here as io in out i think it's for 13 pin 13 and as you know the pin 13 is actually uh, an internal lead of the arduino uno so just the if this star uh, raining up will have the lead also starting up i just use this because i'm uh, i don't have enough uh, pins here and last for the i to see it's on a4 and a5 and of course we will add the ground and vcc We have a lot of wiring to do here, but that's not a problem. And as I say, this is just a mashup or a mix up of uh, 
projects I did before you can check the tutorial I did before okay now I'm gonna wire my 5 volt and ground from the Arduino Okay, that's it for the wiring. It's not complicated after all. If you check the previous tutorials. Okay, let's go now to the code. So this is the code that I'm actually using. It's uh, uh, as I said, a mashup or a mix up of the previous codes I used in previous tutorials. So here we have like the libraries as a keypad, wire and uh, liquid crystal and also the Vertiobotics which is a very simple library for the RTC. Then we have the configuration of the I2C screen and for the RTC then for the keypad we saw all these things before. Then I add some uh, variables like the i1, i2 and c1, c2 so all these uh, things before too it's for the set, uh, set up the RTC then we have for the uh, we add another variables which is a hour a minute for the alarm it's very clear I think then we have the keypad mapping and all these things so what the code function is actually while no key is pressed we wait actually for a key but we don't stop uh, the program it's just uh, looping in this uh, area only then the, it clears the LCD screen and update the time like we it just uh, print the current time like an ordinary alarm clock and if we press like if the alarm is active the buzzer starts start ringing this is for the for the alarm why it's active it prints get up so you can print whatever message you want and here you can modify the, the tone if you want to make your own tone or something we saw this in the tutorial before about the buzzer So here we just go into the code. And how we print the message actually. Then we I keep the code for the uh, setting up the, uh, the RTC as I did in the tutorial before. I'm repeating this uh, phrase because uh, if you don't know something or you're stuck on something just go back to the previous tutorials it's explained more than this because in this uh, the tutorial the, the goal is the alarm clock so here it's worth setting up the RTC if you want to modify time or uh, date or something then we have the block all this block is just for setting up the, the RTC and here we have the block concerning the alarm if we press A the, on the keypad we can set up the alarm we can just set the hours and the minutes which hour and which minute you want the, the buzzer to start ringing and you can deactivate the alarm by pressing B if you activate it and you want to activate it later you can just press B and the alarm is, is not active anymore so this is it for the code I will, when, I, when I upload it, I will add more uh, comments to make it simple for you and we will test the code now so that was for the code I uploaded it in my Arduino and here we gonna test it so first as I said we have 
the setup function uh, I talked about it in the tutorial before you press the star key and you can set up the RTC we set up the year it's actually the same date as you are seeing now same month uh, set up month which is October day it's 13 hour it's midnight and minute it's 31 so when you set up your RTC you can set up your alarm I want to set up on the 32 minute you press A the alarm set, set alarm hour which is midnight and let's say 32 minutes so when this re reach 32 minutes it will be activated I'm gonna wait a little bit and I think the sound is uh, quite high and you can deactivate it by pressing one of the buttons here as you can see this is very simple and the other button which is B is just for deactivating the alarm I'm gonna set another alarm for the 33 minutes now the alarm is set it's okay it will, it will ring but if I press B I can deactivate it so when I press V, I will press now, the alarm is deactivated. I'm gonna wait for the 33 minutes. So nothing happens, it's normal because we deactivated it. So that's it for the alarm clock based on the RTC module it's very simple and as always you can check my previous tutorial if you don't understand something very well as always again links are in description for the wiring and for the code I used uh, for the code as you saw in the video not quite commented I will add a few comments to make it uh, simple for you and as I said for the sound you can modify it <coughs> if you are good sorry if you are uh, good uh, to making tones by uh, this uh, buzzer and that's it see you next time <laughs>